but I'm not sure where they're going to build it at. However, $23 million is a, a lot for a small town of 14000 I'm kind of curious to see how, how it's going to look when it's all finished. That's my doctor today. That's Bang's cousin. I noticed that on these patrol cars, the word police is reversed. I mean, it really should be going the other way around. I mean, if this person was facing the mirror, should make more sense. Sir. I'm alright. Everything going alright? Yeah, everything's cool. Officer Payne, you Lakeway PD. How you doing today, man? Doing good, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, they just uh, said you're out here filming. I understand it's completely your right to do so. You have every right to be out here filming. Mm -hmm. I just came out here to check on you, see if you're alright, how if I can help you with anything or No man, I'm perfectly cool, man. Okay. If I need anything, I'll go inside and ask okay. for it. Right? 10 4. Mm -hmm. Uh can I see your ID by any chance? You are not required to give it to me, I'm just asking. I don't have it on me. Okay, that's cool, man. Uh, there's nothing we can do for you. You're good out here. All right, cool. Okay, but no, I'm, I'm saying you're you're good. You don't need anything from us? No, 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 no. Okay. If, I, if I need anything, I'll just go inside now. 10 4. Appreciate it, man. You have a good day, boy. All right, you too. Yeah, I just had a question. Um, what would you need to do, or what are the steps to file a complaint against an officer? File a complaint against an officer? Yeah. We have a form you can fill out, um, and you, you can basically just fill out the form, give it back to us, you have to head swear to it. Okay, you have a copy of the form? Yeah, absolutely. There you go. And this is this actually describes all the steps for you right there, sir. Okay. Do you need a pen? Oh no, I'm, I'm going to take it with me. Okay, great. So this is an affidavit? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, so I see that you have the Texas government code on here? Yes, sir. further questions I can definitely get a supervisor over here for you. Um, who, who's actually over this uh, the process? Internal Affairs? Yeah well we, yes sir we have Internal Affairs and then ultimately the Chief of Police is. Okay yeah I just had a question about swearing to it um, because I see you do have the Texas government codes on here. Yes sir. But I don't see anything saying that you're required to swear to it or uh, or have it notarized. Yeah as far as I understand it does need to be notarized and sworn to before it will be accepted as a formal Okay, uh, is there someone I can talk to about that? Yeah, absolutely. Let me get Sergeant Bartow for you, okay? Thank you.
doing, sir? Doing good. Eric Barto. Philip. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your first name. Philip. Philip? Yeah. What Just can I help you with? Question on this form here. Yeah. Um, I understand that you guys have the Texas government code on here, which requires the complaint to be in writing and signed. Mm -hmm. um, but I also noticed that it needs to be notarized and sworn to. Yes, sir. Is there, I'm not seeing if there's like a code or a, uh, or a section here in the penal code that requires it to be notarized or signed. Because to my understanding that when it comes to complaint forms, it just needs to be signed and dated. Uh, with the incident written out. When we do a formal complaint like this, they require it to be notarized. So you swore to that everything on there is true and, and factual. All right. Which is which is what the, the notary will stand for. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just curious because I'm not seeing where I'm required to do that. But who, who gives, is that coming down from the mayor or the city council? Uh, that's just the way the form's always been, to be honest. Okay. It's it's like uh, like a witness statement, you know. You have to swear that what you're writing on the witness statement is true and all that other stuff. Uh, the same applies for that kind of thing. So essentially, it's its own form of a witness statement. Okay. Well, one thing with that is I I thought that was for like for an affidavit if you're trying to file criminal charges against someone or pressing charges against someone. That's not the only case, but I mean, there's that also has to be notarized okay. or sworn to. Um, and, and in fact, when we do an affidavit, the, one of the things the judge does is say, hey, do you swear that this is all true? And you got to say yes before he'll even sign it. Yeah. So I understand that's a process for complaining on the officer. Mm -hmm. Is that the same process for commending an officer? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look. Okay. I can get that information for you if you want to just give me a sec. Yeah, sure. Okay. Would you like a copy of the combination form? Yeah, if you have one. Yeah, okay. Well. Here's a copy of that combination form. Yeah, so yeah, I don't see anywhere where it has to be notarized or... No, I don't believe it does. Okay. Yeah, I, I was just kind of curious because, I mean... Well, I think what it boils down to is this could be used to, let's say it was a criminal offense that the officer committed. Mm -hmm. um, it, it can be used in court. Um, and, and also, it, if it's non-criminal but it's a policy violation, then it's a, 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 a administrative hearing right, conducted by the internal affairs. Um, so that's what I understand is why this requires to be notarized. This um, is not required for either of those, so it just goes in the in the uh, employee's file as a attaboy. Right. So, regardless, both of these will stay in the the employee's uh, personnel file, or yes, yeah. So, okay. I know. I, I just. I guess every police department's policy is where when it comes to complaint forms, so that's why I was just curious. Um, some of them do require it notarized and sworn to, some don't. So I was just kind of curious where that came from because I know for the accommodation form, if you want to like praise an officer or say, hey, this officer did a good job, you don't have to get this notarized or sworn to. Correct. But on this one, I'm just kind of curious where that came from. I, I don't know where it came from, to be honest. But I think it's because it could be used in, in both administrative and court proceedings. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just very curious. I'm, I've never... Uh, is there... Are you from Eternal Affairs, or...? No, I'm just a supervisor on duty. Okay. Do you know who's over Eternal Affairs? Uh, essentially, it's the chief. I mean, he's the one over, over uh, whoever the internal affairs officer is reports directly to the chief. All right. Is he in today? Or? Uh, no, he will be in Monday. Monday? Uh, yeah, what, his what? name's Lieutenant Gavin. Lieutenant Gavin? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I, I have what I need. Thank you. Yeah, no problem.
I have two forms here. To my right is the complaint form. And to my left is the form that you would commend an officer for doing an excellent job. Both of these forms stay on the police officer's personnel file permanently, but there's a huge difference between the two. And by reading off the titles, it's quite obvious. The form to my right is a complaint form. So you would use this form if you're complaining against an officer and those allegations could run from excessive force, inappropriate conduct, harassment, and the list goes on. This form requires you to swear to it and have it notarized. That way, if there's any sort of discrepancy of what happened, they can come after you and pretty much charge you with perjury because it would be an official affidavit at that point. So always be careful with these forms because there's nothing legally bound saying that you have to have it notarized or sworn to. They even have the Texas government codes listed on the front of the cover. And none of those state that you have to have it notarized or have it sworn to. In fact, the very first section states that the complaint, the complaint must be in writing and signed by the person making the complaint. Typically, those are the only two requirements that you need. It could be on a blank sheet of paper. But because you're complaining against an officer, they want to have a way to come back to you and go after you if they find that the allegations are false. Now, let's jump to this form. This form is used to fill, you know, if you feel like a police officer is worthy of a compliment, you fill this form out and you turn it in, which should be the exact same way with this complaint form, but it's not. Now, jumping back to this form, you can say an officer did a great job and, you know, he did outstanding service, but how do you know that's true? No one's sworn to it. No one's got it notarized. It's just a statement and it's given in. And these type of forms, correct me if I'm wrong, can be used when it comes to the time when an officer comes down to promotion or when an officer comes down for review. You know, if an officer has enough of these forms, obviously the chances of that officer getting promoted are gonna be very, very high. But if an officer got one of these complaint forms, the chances are still there. However, I believe the reason why they have it the way it is where you have to have it notarized and sworn to is to deter people away from actually filing these or submitting these in so in texas if you want to file a complaint i recommend just writing it out and signing and dating it you don't have to get it notarized you don't have to get it sworn to those are just extra things that they placed in the form to make things a little bit more complicated and if things are not true in this form they can press charges against you however if things are not true in this form nothing happens both of these are going to be official documents both of these are going to be an official record but here's the way i see it how dare you complain on us and if we're doing a good job tell us about it that's just how i see it